if you live in the San Francisco Bay Area and you've grown up around these things, sometimes we can take a little bit for granted that these resources are right here. But once you get out into the hills and you begin walking around, these habitats open up and start showing you their secrets. It's a great vigorous walk through these habitats, but then you get yourself to slow down and look carefully at the plants and the animals that are around you, and you discover all sorts of incredible stuff. There's an astonishing diversity of plants and animals in the San Francisco Bay Area. And if you had a book of all of those, that could be pretty thick. But a very, very effective way of sorting through all those species is to start with what habitat you're in. Because the, both the plants, the animals, the fungi, they are um, specific to different habitat types. So we organized these guides by habitat. One for forested areas, one for grasslands, one's for things that you'll see along the edges of the bay, and another for riparian areas. So if we're trying to, say, identify a tree that was here, we would look at the forest wood one. So this is the things you'll see among the oaks and pines. And this narrows down some of the most common plants and animals that I'm going to see walking through a woodland like this. That makes it easy for a scout leader, a child, or any interested person to be able to put one of these in their pocket and you've got a good chance of being able to identify some of the most common plants and animals that you'll see in this habitat. So what's this one? Well, that's a good question. Let's use this, use this as, an, as an example to, to give this a try. What you're going to do is take a look at the, the little pictures here. We've got a cluster of trees that have similar shapes here. Which one looks the closest to you? That one. The coast live oak? Yeah. I agree. So we're here in a little grove of coast live oaks. That's one of the most uh, common trees in our Bay Area woodlands. And look at that flower. There's a little platform. A little platform. It's a landing pad. It's like a pad. helicopter landing pad. Helicopter landing pad with runway lines on it, all pointing to the center, to the little yellow target. That shows up in the ultraviolet spectrum. That's what insects see. So that's an insect design flower here. Take a look at this one here. We have red, which doesn't show up well in the ultraviolet spectrum. Oh. Hmm. Yellow, well, insects can see that, but most of this is not going to be attractive to an insect. So anytime you see red like this, especially red with a long tube, you start thinking hummingbirds. These woodlands are filled with animals, and the plant life is beautiful and interesting all year around. So that's one of the things that makes the San Francisco Bay Area such a special place and makes it such a delight to be a naturalist in this area. and Bay Audubon Center are confused about flowers. I wish I knew what these were. <gasps> Jack Laws! Jack! Well, <laughs> I was wondering if you could help me figure out these flowers. Well, I'm glad you asked, because I just happen to have, right here in my pocket, a handy pocket guide to plants and animals that you find in grassy fields. And where are we? A grassy field! What are the chances?